Come on. How is it going guys? Uh, JP's life on the farm here. My name is Jack Parry. Uh, as you can see, we're back in the tractor. She's alive. Um, the battery's been charged. Um, I've just connected her up now. And wow, well, I was just testing really to see if, if there was enough charge in the battery. And uh, yeah, clearly there was. The light, the battery light isn't up on the dash. So um, yeah, great, great score. Um, just on my way up to the field now, going to get the chain harrow uh, off the trailer. See how I'm doing for time. If I've got enough, I might do a little start a little bit. If not, I'll leave it for tomorrow. Uh, it's currently raining. I've got a coke today though, so um, we'll be able to carry on whether it's raining or not today. So yeah, I'll see you when we get to the field. So, I hope you guys uh, all liked my... Um, That wasn't a good start. Recording, are you up? Stopped running out and I am flipping roasted again. I feel, like that's a, I feel like that's the story of my life. It's always been hot. Right then guys, um, we're going to do a little bit of chain harrowing now, I've managed to get it on, it took me about 5 minutes really. Um, so yeah, so this is the chain harrow, it's quite a simple piece of kit really, as, as you can see it's just all hooked together and it's all interlinked, sometimes these uh, links come undone, and that's what I've just been fiddling with now, they usually come undone while we put it off the trailer and stuff. So uh, I've just been linking them all back together, I've got it all hooked up to the tractor, and as you can see here, this is what it does really, it's just like any sort of dead grass, loose soil, it just like rips out, which is no bad thing. We don't really want dead grass staying in the ground, we want it to come up and rot off. And then any like cow pats have dried, they get ripped up and they break down a lot faster then. So yeah, you can see it's getting this scratch mark. So, this is the field that um, I topped yesterday. Unfortunately, we didn't get any footage of it due to my GoPro dying. Uh, but you'll have already seen that, hopefully. Um, so, yeah, I'm just trying to see if there's an obvious patch where I've been. I think here's quite a good patch just here. So, what I've been doing, just been going the most. You see, I haven't been going down too low, cutting off these new fresh shoots. These have, haven't been touched at all. But this is the remains of a nice tall, well, not tall, it was a dead, um, just a dead patch that had, like, grown too much and the cows didn't eat it off. So I'm gonna come through with the chain harrow and I'm just gonna rip this dead stuff out. This fresh shoots will be fine. The dead stuff will come out of the ground. Okay, as you can see, it's quite foggy. I can hardly see the other end of the field. Oh, 
Golf ball. So that's a sign of uh, how low I was going to the ground. Golf ball's fine, hasn't been touched. I wonder if that was there yesterday, actually. God knows. I don't even know where that's come from. Oh, actually, I've just caught the edge of it. I don't know if you can see that. Just caught the top of that at golf ball. Right then, let's get started. I wonder what the best year to go is. I'm 
just going to stop and show you the difference. So this is this is my first uh, pass through, um, well, up and down really. So you can see it's really ripping these uh, cow pads out. It's not ripped it too much. See, so these nice uh, new grass shoots are coming through, but then this, which is obviously a little bit dead, has come straight back, come straight out, which is another thing. Like this as well. The chain hour is quite dirty, obviously, because it's going through all the soil in the cow pad. But this is where I haven't been then, so you can see the difference. I hope. So by the end of it, we'll have some nice stripes going up and down the field. But you can see how foggy it is. It's so foggy. I'm not complaining though, because it's better than the grass burning off in the sun. Um, so, on the back of having the cows out all winter in the field, we don't get any manure uh, from like the sheds to put on the land. So over at our farm, Seven, seven miles inland that we travel every day. Dad's over there now, uh, just sorting the animals that are over there. Um, we decided this year when we, that we started carting the manure that we were mucking out from the sheds over there, over here, so it's in the, in the pile in the corner over there. Um, and um, we're gonna do an autumn spread dressing of manure. So all, all these fields are gonna get some uh, manure spread on them, we'll get a contractor in more than likely uh, to do it for us. We will load them up in this uh, with the muck fork on the front of the loader and then he'll come in and spread it all for us. We've got a couple of fields that we'll be able to do if we've got enough um, manure from to spread everywhere and then that'll uh, decompose into the, into the fields over the winter. Um, that way then we'll be able to get some more grass come come the spring and the summer to be able to mow. More than likely after we've uh, spread we'll go with the chain harrow again to uh, break down any, any big lumps that's left of the manure. Um, so yeah, just thought I'd uh, give you some facts. <laughs> video of the batteries dying on the GoPro. I ordered, um, I think I ordered two new ones uh, yesterday and um, a charger as well. So I'll be able to charge uh, them at the same time as I'm using the GoPro. Because at the moment I have to use the GoPro to charge the batteries. Right then guys, I've just come to the last uh, two rows by the looks of it. Yeah, I'm gonna have to do another row. Um, last two rows. Um, I'm not 100% sure what we've got planned for tomorrow now. Um, right then guys, hope you could see me and uh, hear me. Um, so we had a chat, I had a chat with Dad last night after doing the chain harrowing and, um, well, we came to the conclusion that it was going to rain very heavily today, the day after that uh, we did the chain harrowing. And it is absolutely chucking it down. It's been chucking it down all day. It's just coming up to four o'clock in the afternoon. Um, we haven't done any jobs today really that, apart from the essentials. Um, so I hope you, hope you liked the video. Uh, remember to give it a thumbs up, subscribe, ring the little bell to get notifications for every time, um, every time I upload a video. Um, really, really, really massive thank you uh, for the support for the first video. I didn't think it was going to go down that well at all. Um, yeah, I really, really do appreciate it, guys. It really, really drives me on to produce good videos, and um, hopefully, we can continue to grow uh, and have fun while we're doing it. Um, if you have any questions, drop in the comments section below. Uh, I read all the comments. Not that I ha had, didn't have many off the first video. I've had loads of people messaging me though, saying I've done a really good job. I do really, really appreciate it. I can't, 
I can't say enough how much I really appreciate it. It's been great. Um, so yeah, any comments, like I said, drop them in down below. There's been um, quite a few people have messaged me and said that they'd quite like to see some animal videos. So the next video will be about the animals. Um, like I said before, we are in the middle of carving, so uh, I will mention the calves, I'll show you the calves, um, and I'll try and get all the animal videos in, ready for the next video. Once again, thank you very much, leave a like and subscribe.